Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is the second installment in my project of trying to um, open up Media Player and play videos in succession strictly through Terminal. Uh, my goal is to create a batch file or a PowerShell script and then leave that to a client and be able to just run what it is that they want and loop it, whatever. So the first part we accomplished, we were able to get the child item from a location and show in PowerShell what's, what the contents was. Great, we got that. Um, I didn't see the part that I wanted to accomplish, something that I could do easily in PowerShell at the moment. So I looked around and I found that I can actually open up Media Player pretty easily in Command Prompt. And for that, this is the this, this script. Uh, took a little tweaking, but I got it. Um, everybody's computer might have a slightly different path. Most off-the-shelf computers, if they've been imaged, are basically going to have it the same, so it'll be cut and paste. Mine was a little bit more different. And this is just one of several different versions of computers I've been messing with so nothing is ever the same so with that we are going to open up command prompt and run it as administrator because quite honestly I only want to do this once and I know it works as administrator so I'm going to copy the script here and you see go it goes all the way to here and that's where I find the executable so if I run it it comes up and you see I had a version it already had a video ready to go and it says now playing but it's not playing but that's okay if I click over here That worked. So, nothing fancy. I'm doing this in bits and pieces. I want to be able to piece everything together at the end and have a working script that I can either run off as a batch file or as a PowerShell script and then pass off to a friend or a client and have them do what they need to do with it in order to be able to loop videos together, create their own setup in a different location other than where it is standard on most Linux distributions or on a Windows distribution. And we'll move on to the next step in our next video. Uh, for now, good night.